Ja. Oh, die Sparta! Welcome back to the channel to all my loyal viewers and subscribers and welcome to all the new viewers. Now in today's video, we're going to take a look at a topic which may seem bizarre to most of the public. So now we're going to break down this and give you guys a better understanding as to what really transpired and how it transpired. So back in 2020, dancehall artist Stamily Sparta, he's from the western end of the country but most people know him in affiliation with Vibes Cartel. He was arrested in 2020 for a firearm. So when police recover a firearm from half a scene or then take it off a person, they send it to the forensic lab up at Oak Road to do ballistic testing. So ballistic testing is basically the fingerprint of a firearm. So that's how the police can be able to identify a firearm which used at more than one scene. So if a shooting go on a Montego Bay, and a shooting one at Kingston. When he sent to the same lab, he can show say, the same firearm do that shooting in Montego Bay and also do the shooting in Kingston. So that's in essence what the ballistic is about. So everybody must know by now, Tamili was released from prison after serving his sentence, which is two years, in which we think that's stupid because there's no way you're supposed to get two years for your firearm, for your repeat offender. We don't know if he was convicted for crime, but we know say, he was always in running with the government or with the police as it relates to crime and in Sparta gang affiliation in a Montego Bay. So however, when the police then carried the firearm go up at them ballistic testing place, they found out that the same firearm that was found on Tammy Lee is the same firearm used to take the life of two prominent figures in a Jamaica. One is one a British and the other is rifle. Both of them is from the British Link Up crew. So I was really a kid when them money did around the dance I seen in Jamaica. Because everybody grew up and must hear the term British Link Up crew. It is said that them money make them millions in England by hence the name British Link Up by dealing in illicit drugs. So you don't know maybe marijuana and the white lady. So I'm not really sure if they are dance in Jamaica for a specific community or a specific area. But I do know that they have a large name and a large following inside of Jamaica. So the pictures that you guys see on the screen now is of one British and a rifle. So if you know more about them one you can put it in the comment section and let we have a discussion. So back to the topic at hand. So the same firearm that Tammy Lee was found in possession of and was convicted of is the same firearm that was used to take the life of one British and rifle. So as I said before, a ballistic the government used and proved this. So now I'm going to read an article from Nationwide when they find out about the ballistic and what the government actually do about it. So the article goes as follows. Nationwide news understand that ballistic tests which reveal that an illegal firearm seized by the police from the waistband of popular dancehall artist Tammy Lee Sparta was used in two high profile loss of life from members of the British Link Up crew in 2019. The test reveals that the firearm used to take the life of Owen Clark and Alfonso Ariat. Clark is better known as Rifle or Fatherfall. Ariat is more popularly known as Wanny British. Both men were well-known dancehall personalities for many years who were the organization of a popular British Link Up entertainment event in Jamaica and the United Kingdom. Rifle lost his life in February 2019 while he was at a party event on Alfred Tree Road in St. Anjo. While days after, in March of the same year, one British lost his life on Mountain View Avenue. So basically, the two man them are the two top man them from out a British Link Up crew lose them life within a span of three months. Both of them lose them life within a span of three months in a Kingston, Jamaica. That alone is supposed to be a red flag. Because if all of them, if both of them did a, did a member of the high profile 
British Link Up Crew. It seems like this is a hit where well, maybe I come from England. Because we don't know the drugs game going on. A man may take a man food and a man may pass it on. Pass on the bread will come from it and regardless of where you're there. I mean millions man lose. So it don't really matter which for you there. Man have reach everywhere in this world. Yeah. So it may be a hit we have come from within something where them do maybe 10, 15 years ago. It may not be no or something that they do have done recently will cause them to lose their life. The articles go further to read. It is understood that ballistic investigation showed that cartridge casing and projectile which were found on the scene of boat loss of life was discharged from the firearm in which was seized from Tommy Lee's part in 2020. A law enforcement source say that Lee, who is otherwise known as Guzzo, was interrogated by the police in connection with the loss of life he denied any involvement. The dancehall entertainer given name is Leroy Russell Jr. He pleaded guilty to illegal possession of the same firearm that took the two man them life in March. Tommy Lee was sentenced to three years and as I said before he was recently released. Before this three years, maybe based on good behavior or for whatever reason he get early release and now he's back on the street. So now, I'm going to play a video footage of when Tommy Lee was arrested. And I also play a video when he was in jail, in which a man came from here and looked like somebody had doing too also. And also the video of when he was released. So stay tuned. I say, how is that even possible? He can get caught with a firearm that used to take the life of both one British and a rifle. However, he was not charged for the loss of life. Because this just comes down to education and understanding of the law of Jamaica in general. Because growing up as a youth in the inner city, it is always said that if police catch her with a firearm that have loss of life and it, or what we normally say, have body panic. And you will get them body there. Or in other words, you will be charged for the loss of life of the person them who them find through ballistic and them firearm there. And I'm here to tell you guys, nothing don't go so. Because to prove murder or prefer a charge against somebody for loss of life, it's a very tedious and there are certain strict instruction. There are certain things that them call points to prove the offense. If they are not there and the evidence is not there, you cannot arrest the person. Let me say that again. If the police find you with a firearm in a Jamaica and that firearm is linked to loss of life all over Jamaica, they cannot just charge you for the loss of life without other evidence or without other information linking you or connecting you to those loss of life. You having the firearm alone cannot be, cannot 
make the police charge you for loss of life of the person, even if you would be. So even though they can arrest you for the loss of life, however, it can launch an investigation and carry into questioning in which they, they did. But based on the information we them get, I don't know Tamali having top lawyer. So if not gonna say nothing. So me not saying Tamali is not involved with the loss of life of rifle or one British. But without further information or without further evidence, the police them can't charge him for the loss of life. It may sound foolish or it may sound funny to you guys who are not aware of the law, but that's just the law. Because with the crime we happening in Jamaica, people may feel like say half ah, a Jamaica youth them involved in a crime and violence now. But trust me, I tell you, it's a selected few from in a certain in a city we are carrying it out. So man, yes, a man of them in a Montego Bay, yes, a man of them down a Westmoreland, yes, a man of them in a Kingston, man of them in a Saint Thomas. Sometimes it's all connected within one fraternity. Man a man go to jail from Kingston and man link with man from Mobile. And you don't know, but all in a Jamaica, import is an asset to the criminal underworld. So a man from Montego Bay can have a friend from Kingston. Him call him in for go mash a works. He go transport film firearm from town come to the crime. So with that said now, Tamili left from Montego Bay come to Kingston. You don't know how them go, how them artists operate. They always find some farmer criminal to link up with in a Kingston. He may buy two machines put on the ends of Kingston. And the machine, when he buy, the man them use and carry out rifle act. And then carry out one act. And a Tamili firearm. So you don't know maybe for some reason he might have got the firearm in a theme possession. And the police him catching money. So the police need more evidence for connect them money here to Tamili. So it might seem bizarre to the general public. But that's just how the law operates. So let me know what you feel about this video in the comment section. And make we have a discussion about it. If you feel like say, him should have been charged for their loss of life. Or if you feel like say. A foolish to the police or the police and do what they're supposed to. So if you like the content, please remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Tell a friend about this channel. I don't know we have nothing but facts and knowledge over here. So see you in the next video. And like I always said, remember to hug your loved ones.